Pittsburgh had so many alligator sightings this summer that companies started selling T-shirts that said Gatorsburg, city of champions. But Councilwoman Darlene Harris said having these exotic animals on the loose was a big problem. Rick Dayton reports. After a handful of alligators were found on the loose in the city of Pittsburgh this summer, Pittsburgh City Council decided it was time to act. I am actually thrilled that the votes have passed this piece of legislation. The ordinance to oversee the care, handling, and keeping of dangerous reptiles and venomous snakes passed by an 8-1 margin. The dissenting vote? Council President Bruce Krause. There are different animal rights organizations that I've worked with in the past that had some concerns about it as well, too. So it, as presented by the councilwoman in the haste in which it was presented, I couldn't in all uh, due diligence vote to support it. Ordinance sponsor Darlene Harris says it's still a significant issue. There's more in the district. Matter of fact, I, I know I have them in my district. Uh, also, there's poisonous snakes out there. And uh, what we want to make sure is that animal care and control knows where they are. The critters in question, like crocodiles, alligators, and poisonous snakes, must be registered and clearly labeled in the home. New fines will be in place, but zoos and traveling exhibits are exempt. This doesn't apply to, you know, someone's little turtle or salamander, you know, uh, or uh, the snakes that they have that are non-venomous. Council President Bruce Krause said one of the main reasons he voted against it was how quickly the measure moved through Pittsburgh City Council. But again, it has passed by an 8-1 vote. Rick Dayton, KDKA News.